I want to put this one on the table because it's been annoying me. About a month ago or five weeks ago now, I think, North Melbourne dropped Jared Polly. And they dropped him after what I thought was a pretty reasonable performance. And I remember talking to someone from North about it. And I said, geez, Pollock's a bit stiff. And they said, oh, look, he doesn't, doesn't follow um, team rules. You know, they sounded really dirty on him. And I thought, okay, well, fair enough. We well, served his penance. He was out for three weeks. He's come back for two. He was okay last week. And I agree with you. I thought he was definitely in their best tonight. Now, we know he's the quintessential outside player, though he has improved his inside game. But this just strikes me as one of those classic examples of where a coach, and not being critical of Reece Shaw here, but Reece Shaw clearly has a pretty sizable knock on the way Pollock plays his footy. Has he been slow to respond? Maybe. But I would have thought North is the last club that's in a position to be potentially shutting the door on a talent like Pollock, particularly when my understanding is he's contracted for another two seasons at least. Now, they're short on talent. They're short on class. I wouldn't have thought he's a bloke you want to be making an example of. I think he's a pretty good footballer, and I, I'm really surprised that he's been given the cold shoulder to the extent he has, and I think he underlined tonight how useful he can be to them. 